Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Daniels, aka Miss Ginger Divine, and I am one of your readers for this summer's Drag Story Hour. Now, I'm a professional storyteller, and I'm excited to share tools and strategies that I use every single day with all of you so you can spice up your own story times. Now, Italo Calvino said, it is not the voice that commands the story. It is the ears. And it's this quote that informs my tip that I'm going to share with all of you today. And that is around tone and tempo. Tone and tempo are two brilliant tools that you can experiment and play around with to captivate audiences and bring them into the story. So tempo is the speed with which you are speaking, whether you're speaking slow, fast, somewhere in the middle, everywhere in between. There's also tone, which is the pitch, quality, and strength of your voice. Now, the tempo and tone might be informed by your characterization. Right? how you choose to embody the characters, how you think they might speak, whether they speak very loud, very soft-spoken, do they speak quickly, or do they speak very slowly. It might also be informed by um, the emotions and, and what is happening within the story. So if there's a really exciting moment, like a celebration or a party, there might be a brightness to my voice. See, even just smiling right now, there's a lifting that's happening with my voice. Whereas if there's a very sad moment, then my register may drop a little bit to really convey how sad that moment is. Or let's say um, there's an exciting moment, right? Because sometimes the tone and tempo is determined by what's actually happening in the story. So if the action is rising, right, we're getting to a really exciting moment in the story, then what I might do very subtly because I'm a professional is I might slowly begin to increase the tempo of my voice because you don't want to jar people, but you want to build that anxiety, that moment of like, what is going to happen? Oh my gosh, there's so much happening. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then a dramatic pause. Because I like to leave that anxious moment to linger in the air. And then I might stare out onto the horizon to build the dramatic gravitas of the situation. And just when you think you're gonna start speaking again, you just hold out for a little bit longer. Like you're having this great preponderance about the mysteries of the universe. And then you might start speaking again. Now, if you're doing a bedtime story, you might not use all of this, right? Because ultimately the goal is to have your kids go to sleep. So you might choose very soft-spoken, more melodic pacing to your voice. So you're still using tempo and tone. You're just not using a wide variety of tempo and tone because you might not want to use something that's really activating, energizing, animated when telling the story. Now, my recommendation for you is to just play around, right? Novelty, our brains love novelty, our brains love newness, and so do our ears. So if you play around with different tempos and tones in your storytelling, guess what? Your listeners are going to be engaged. They are going to be interested in what you have to say and ultimately the story. I hope you found that tip helpful for today. If you haven't signed up for your Washoe County Library System library card, well then what are you doing? Head there right now and get your very own library card. It's very easy. Librarians will help you out. And I hope to see you this summer at Drag Story Hour. Happy reading, everyone.